Hello, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark. In our 10 micro series, today we are going to learn how to install Deep Security Agent on Windows operating system. Friends, there are total 3 methods to install Deep Security Agent on any Windows machine. The very first method is manual installation. Second method is using the PowerShell script given by 10 micro. And third is using any remote deployment tool like SCCM or any other tool. But in our series, we are going to cover two methods. One is manual installation and second is using automated PowerShell script. So without delay, let's start the video. But before that, one small intro video. Welcome back guys. Very first, we will perform manual installation of Deep Security Agent. For that, you would require Deep Security Agent setup. So let's download that. Very first, let me log in into the Deep Security Manager console using admin credential. Once you logged in, directly go to the administration. In administration, click on the updates and then software. Scroll all the way down and look for local. In local, by default, you will see latest version of Deep Security Agent. If it's not available, then you will need to import. Friends, if in case you want any older version, for that, you need to go to the download tab. Under download, specify here by platform and look for your windows. It's not available on this page. Now go to the second. Here also not available. Now third. Okay, here we go. My operating system is 64 bit. Hence, I am preparing this version. This is on page number three. Just for your reference, let me go back to the local again. And currently I have the version 20 and sub version is 4959 right so we'll see what are the versions available in the download tab friends here as per your requirement you can download any of the version like 9 and then 10 11 12 there are all versions available so as per your requirement and the compatibility of your operating system you can download any of this version let's say i'm going to download this uh, 12 version so to download that right click and simply click on import See, the import has been started. You will need to wait for some time until and unless the download gets complete. Perfect. Now agent version is downloaded successfully. I got a green tick mark. Now if I go to the local, then I can see two versions here. One is 12 and second is 20. 20 is our previous version which is the latest and the 12 is older version. So this is how you can download your versions. Now since my opting system is latest, so I am going to download this version 20. To download that, you can simply right click and click on export installer or you may directly go to export tab and choose export package or installer. I personally go with the single file, so I am choosing export installer. If you choose export package, then it download one zip file. So apart from this MSI file, there is some few supported files also present. Now let me click on save. Open folder. Here is our deep security agent. If I go guys to back to the our computer tab, then currently I have only two agent installed. On one is my deep security manager server, which is this server itself, and second is my DSM multi node. Currently it's offline, that's why it's showing a red tick mark, multiple errors. Now friends, let's go to the our remote server where we are going to install the agent. And here is my new server. Let me show you on the console itself. Let me access Deep Security Manager here also. Enter. Let's log in. This is my remote server, guys. And there is no agent installed. If, if I go to the taskbar, there is no Deep Security agent installed. So, since we have already downloaded the agent, what we will do? We will execute that agent setup on this server. But very first, let me access my setup file. It's in user, administrator, and download folder. Let me copy create a copy of this particular setup file to my desktop copy is created now we will simply click on install installation is start started accept accept next and install deep security notifier is running now click on finish now friends if I can go to the taskbar and double click on deep security icon, you can see the a notifier is installed successfully. 
notifier basically you know do the job to communicate with your deep security agent, uh, manager currently it's not activated because we haven't enabled the agent and all our security models are access showing not capable because there is no license information available in this agent so let me click on ok go back to our server and here we'll have to click on add add computer enter your hostname let me check the hostname of this server cmd hostname perfect is my dc server copied where is the okay now enter the hostname of your this particular server which we have copied if you have any already policy created then you can choose any of the policy which is available right now i'm going with the default policy so windows server relay group is also default now click on next unactivated agent detected on selected computer let's click on finish the computer has been successfully created open computer details on close okay guys as soon as we added this particular machine it shows managed now it will take approximately 30 to 30 second to 1 minute to agent port completely activate as you can see in the general tab it's showing installation pending not install installation pending no rules which means all the license modules are getting installed see two few of the modules is already got installed now if i go to the my agent tab again and double click it's showing my agent is running anti-malware web root protection see the, st uh, the status is getting changed Friends, if you say, check out here, it's the web reputation and application control is showing off. That's why it's showing not capable or not configured. Security update is in progress. So right now it's updating our antivirus. I'm saying task is shown in the taskbar of our deep security manager console. Performing security update on one PC. Now let me close this. So guys basically this is how you can install deep security manager agent on any of the pc friends now i hope you have understood how to install deep security agent manually on any of the windows server machine now friends there is one thing which i would like to highlight you that is if you manually install deep security agent setup on any of the windows server then there is a one more way to activate the agent instead of adding your pc from this deep security manager console by selecting add computer so let me show you how you can do that but before that let me very first re uh, reinstall the agent so very first i'll have to disable the temporary protection from the settings and here is that option no save close now we'll i'll uninstall the deep security agent and reinstall so let me fast forward this video perfect deep security agent is successfully removed now let me reinstall this but before that let, let's validate the deep security agent uh, icon is gone now let's delete this entry also deep security agent is deleted now now let's install the same setup file again install perfect deep security agent is installed and it's showing in unknown status click ok friends before you activate agent using the script very first let's go to the support and then deployment script in this deployment script you will get one error that you need to go to the agent step to enable agent initiated activation so let's do that first administration system settings agent step and click on this first box which is agent initiated activation for any computer once you are done with these things click on save my settings are saved now if i again go back to our support and then deployment script the error is gone now my platform is windows in security policies right now we are not going to select anything because we are just activating the pc computer group or default relay let's forget about all this just scroll all the way down now friends this is the url we'll have to use 
So very first, let's go to this particular path. Program files, train micro, deep security agent, DSA control. Let's open the command prompt with administrator rights. CMD run as an administrator. Then CD backslash your program files and then train micro. After that, deep security. Once you reach the path, click on enter. And now you will need to run this particular command to your agent activation. So let me copy this entire script. Copy. Then go to the command prompt. Paste. Now very first we'll have to remove this double inverted comma. And that's it guys. Now let me close the command. Close. Go back to our computers. I don't have anything here. Now let's execute the script. But before that, let me show you that I have agent installed in activation required mode, which means this is not activated yet. Let me put this here and hit the enter button. Okay, it's attempting. Oh, okay, perfect, guys. I can see my agent is listed here. And here is the output of our command. Activation will be reattempted in 30 seconds. Okay, response, attempt time, initiating command session. See, our agent status is also changed to running. And this is all the output. Command session completed. And, and that's it, guys. Connected with our dsm.technicalspark.com. So, this is how you can activate agent using activation command. Now, let me close this. It will automatically install the all applicable component. So to validate that again, click on the your server. Right now there is no policy available. That's why our all the models are disabled. But if I select any of the policy like Windows, Windows Server and click on save, you can see the installation is pending. So the status is got changed. If I again open the deep secure agent policy, then you will observe the status will get changed in a few seconds. Perfect guys. Okay, so we started installation. Now friends, I hope now you have understood how to activate pre-installed agent using activation command. Guys, I personally use this command during the troubleshooting only. Now friends, we'll jump into the third method that is how to install deep security agent using PowerShell script. So let's close this and let me again uninstall the agent for you all guys. Cancel. Now let me deactivate the agent uh, cell protection. Friends, let me fast forward this video. Agent is successfully uninstalled guys. Now let's close this again. Now this time to install your deep security agent using the PowerShell script, you would require the deployment script to be downloaded. For that, let's copy the deployment script. Under support, select deployment script. Select the type of installation. So our is Windows. So I have selected Windows agent deployment. Now choose the security policies. Like I'm going with the Dips Windows Server. Computer group is computer fine. If you have multiple relay, so you can choose accordingly. But right now we are going with the default relay group. If in case you have proxy, choose that. If in case you want to validate the TLS or you know signature, you can choose this option or leave it. And this is our deployment script is ready automatically. Now let's click on save to file. PS1. So it's automatically created one PowerShell script. Click on save button. Perfect guys. Look like downloaded. Now let me validate from the download folder. Yeah. Is downloaded successfully. Let's close this. Now let me close this our previous server entry also. Because it's in offline, we already uninstalled the deep security agent from here. Delete. Okay. Now here is our deployment script. Run with PowerShell. Open. And the deployment is started guys 
now it's asking whether you really want to install click yes to all or no to cancel i'm clicking on yes let's click on yes and see the installation is started it's automatically downloading the agent setup guys we don't need to download agent setup manually this particular script will do all its job automatically okay great i can see the deep security agent icon is pop up here you can see now it's trying to activate put it here so that as soon as the agent is get activate we can see that entry here is taking some time it look like it's trying to activate the agent perfect guys friends script is automatically completed and it's gone and here we got the our deep security agent system entry look like it's automatically assigned the policy as per our script defined now let me double click on this here is the policy name that is windows server and agent status is showing online as well as all the components are got installed if i open our deep security agent again it's showing agent agent is running and as per the policy the required modules are already been enabled so friends i hope you have enjoyed this session and learned how to download install activate deep security agent in various way if in case if you still have any question queries or doubt then please feel free to let me know in the comment box below and just for sake if your all doubts are clear then please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe friends this video is already stretched quite long so we'll cover rest of the things in new video and don't forget to test this in your environment it could be your production or test environment right enjoy